Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in the over 6700 hours that I have been speedrunning the game. During the mission Father Son, when you're at the mechanic, you can kill Jimmy using the gas canister and it doesn't fail the mission. Alright man, I'm taking you home. It's... Arriving at the end of the mission, Jimmy will come back alive for the cutscene. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? For reasons unknown to me, there seems to be a building that lacks any textures, and instead is simply covered in numbers. On the wharf, there are telescopes that you can pay $1 to look down for a short duration. If you happen to have a wanted level when you use these telescopes, the police will wait patiently rather than ruining your sightseeing. At the end of the mission Friends Reunited, Trevor gets to Los Santos, but he has yet to confront Michael or even meet Franklin. Despite having not met Franklin, if you use Franklin during the day to shoot rockets at Trevor's safe house, Trevor will text message Franklin asking him to stop. This of course makes no sense in the plot, for how could Trevor have Franklin's number? If you put a car underwater until it stops working and then take it out of the water, it becomes indestructible. Other than the doors being potentially removed, the car will be fine, although you still can't drive us. On the mission marriage counselling, Michael chases after a tennis coach and finds him hiding in Madrazo's home. It turns out that the tennis coach doesn't actually drive to this house, he is scripted to drive somewhere else, but when Michael loses him during normal gameplay, he is teleported to that location. Therefore, if we take a strange route up the hill, we never lose the coach, so we can find him chilling in a random driveway, a street away from where he is meant to be hiding according to the plot. He acts just like a normal NPC, you can even bring him down to where the confrontation is meant to take place. Of course the mission doesn't progress, because you have to bring down the white truck. Also, if you harm him in any way, the mission fails. In Michael's house, there is an interaction where he can drink green juice. If you very carefully move parallel to the wall directly behind the juice while in first person, you can drink the juice through the wall, putting yourself into a weird out of bounds state. Everything is still solid, but you can see through everything. If you leave Michael's home or interact with anything, it can remove the bug. Thank you. 
This is a mission map for GTA 5, showing which missions need to be completed for others to spawn and who can do what missions. It was created by Rello and myself to assist with making new routes for speedruns. Overall, there is some variance that you have in what order you complete the missions, but the game is still fairly linear. It's just more or less linear depending upon the part of the game. There is a somewhat convoluted way to duplicate weapons between characters. The first step is to start a hangout with another character. Oh. Next, you swap to the character that you called and bring out the weapon that you want to duplicate. Then switch back to your other character, who has now been relocated so that he can do the hangout. When you arrive, kill the other character. The weapon that the other character was holding will now be on the ground and you are free to pick it up. Keep in mind of course that the other character will still have this weapon, you aren't relocating it, you are duplicating it. When you take Trough for a walk, you are given a ball that you can use to play fetch. Despite the clearly non-lethal nature of this weapon, you can still use it to rob stores, which I find kind of funny. Okay, I give you what you want. Stay calm, relax. As an aside to this fact, if you've never noticed, Chop's AI is not very good. Get inside, Chop. I saw an interesting effect on reddit that I wanted to recreate, all you have to do is park a bus here on this freeway. My best guess is that this piece of concrete confuses the AI, causing them to believe they have a path to continue, when of course they do not. It is still possible to buy properties for free. First, stand in front of a property sign and hold a character swap button, in this case I'm using F6. Next, press E to bring up the confirmation for the property purchase. Then release the character swap button and a few frames later press E confirming the purchase. If you continue to wait, eventually the character you swap to will be charged for the property, although the other character will still own it. If instead you save and then load that save, you will still have the property and no one will be charged. This is because you're effectively saving between the time that you buy the property and the time that you're charged for that property. Continuing with the Molotov oddities from previous episodes. On the mission Mr. Richards, the two actors in the helicopter appear completely immune to fire. As an aside, some of you will not have noticed the spreading fire effect in this game. Some textures, like this wood or most grass, will act as fuel for fire and thus the fire will spread uncontrollably. Devon Weston at the end of Deep Inside is immune to fire in a quite humorous way. If you activate the final waypoint for the mission while Devon's on fire, it'll still let you progress, it'll just take a while to get started. Insurance 
companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. On the mission Minor Turbulence, when you get inside the military plane, if you light anyone on fire, you'll be given strange fire textures. The fire will also appear invisible on the ground. So that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you want to help me out, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. Also, these episodes are featuring more and more things sent to me by others. While I still have stuff of my own to show and I'm finding new things every day, I am only one person so there will always be things that I don't know or haven't seen. So if you know of anything that you think I might be interested in, feel free to send it my way on Twitter or Discord. Thanks for watching.